Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to talk today about how I collimate my Newtonian scope, in this case a 130 PDS. I use a laser collimator. These do get a bit of bad press but as long as they're accurate you shouldn't have too many problems and we can check that before we use it. Some collimators come with adjustment screws around the outside and I would suggest that if you're going to get one, get one with these so that if there is any problems with its accuracy you can adjust it. So the first thing to do is check that the collimator is true. So what we're going to do is fix this into a position pointing at a wall. I use a vise for this and what we're looking to do is just uh, get it a good distance from a wall with a point that we can look at. Um, turn the collimator on and then very slowly rotate the collimator watching the laser point on the wall. We want it to rotate but stay in roughly the same position. If it makes a larger circle then we know that the laser is not pointing straight and true and won't collimate your scope very accurately. So you will need to make adjustments. If however we're happy with the laser we can now move on to collimating the scope. Place the laser into the focus tube and then what we need to do is observe down the front of the scope at the circle that's on the primary mirror and observe where the laser is hitting that target. Here you can see the laser is hitting the top left hand corner of the circle so we need to make adjustments to get that laser into the center. We make those adjustments by these uh, screws at the front of the scope. You may have uh, allen key bolts here that require an allen key to turn them. I've replaced these with a product known as Bob's Knobs and uh, I'll put a link in the description of where you can get them from. But these uh, then become thumb screws and make collimation a lot easier. So proceed by making very very small turns of these screws, uh, undoing one first and then slightly tightening up the slack with the other two and just move the laser around and you want to get the point in the dead center of that small circle on the primary mirror. Make sure you don't make any large turns, they're not needed. And when you are finished and you are happy that the laser is in the center, check to make sure that none of the screws are loose and that they're all nipped up. That's the secondary mirror collimated and now we need to move to the primary mirror. So we need to move to the rear of the scope and we need to at the same time as being able to access the screws at the back of the scope be able to also see the target on the collimator. We have six screws at the back, three are locking screws, the longer ones, so we can just loosen these off and we're going to make small adjustments to the larger uh, thumb screws to move the laser to the correct part on the target. So I'm just going to dim the light so that we can see the laser a bit easier and then making small adjustments of these screws at the back moving the primary mirror we're going to make the laser disappear into the hole on the target. Again small movements take your time with it and once you're happy that the laser is in the center gently do up the locking screws. Now these can move the laser so be aware of that don't over tighten them and just lock everything up so that the primary mirror won't move. Once this is in place and we're happy that the laser is in the center of that target we need to check the front of the scope again and make sure that the first check we did is still in place that the laser is in the dot of the circle. And if it is, then everything's good and the uh, scope is collimated. If it isn't, just repeat the steps until you have the laser inside the two targets. I hope this has helped and if you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments section. If uh, you like the content, please consider liking and subscribing. And until next time, I'd like to wish you all clear skies.